Oh yeah, I got you now. Don't mess with me. Victory row. Bruh, seriously? We about to throw hands. Blow, blow. Backburner family. Sorry about that. These thumbnails took me so long to make that I actually started fooling around. Anyways, today we have a different type of video. This is my first how-to video, and I'll be showing you how I make thumbnails using GIMP. The link to the software is in the description below. Let's begin. Alright, so if you're new to GIMP and you want to make a thumbnail, then you need to start a new image. To do this, you go to File, New. Okay, so the image size for YouTube thumbnails are 1280 by 720 pixels. So please make sure that the canvas is that size. So now that we have our canvas, we can start by getting our pictures onto it. To do this, we need to go to File, Open as Layer, and locate them on our machine. Open as Layer is amazing because each image imported gets its own layer for editing. And with that, I want to start off with my favorite tool, the Paths tool. This is the perfect tool to cut out any object from its background. So we want to zoom in really close, not that close, to our desired object and start outlining our character here. No need to be perfect with outlining. And if you mess up, make sure to undo and continue. Now for a quick montage. No effects. <laughs> yeah. I never take doubt as a lesson. I never second guess it. Take negativity and reject it. I got my mind blind to rejection. So I'll be just fine. Don't be wasting any time with discretion. I run this campaign like I'm running an election. I pop this champagne like we're not in a recession. I feel no damn pain. I'll be broken is a blessing. Feel it pumping through my veins. Got me feeling like I'm flexing. Yeah. I'm in motion, I'm obsessive like the ocean, I'm relentless No promotion, still progressing, overdosing on these lessons And these words, my only weapon, cut you deep, oh yeah, threaten Feel the heat and all the tension, need relief So, we got the sharp, jagged outline out of the way Now time to smooth it out by angling the lines Just click on the line and angle them to the shape of the object We are finally finished with the path tool. All that is left is to press enter, cut the character out, and paste it into its own layer. I use the shortcut keys, control X and control V, but you can also go to the edit menu up top and select cut, then do it again to select paste. Once pasted, go over to the layers area and press the new layer button. And now a word from our sponsors. Hey you, yeah you, have you ever wanted to have a superpower? How about the power to bring the dead back to life? And you know what? There is nothing deader than my Discord server. Head on over to it and breathe life back in by saying hi in the chat. Remember, with such great power, you have the obligation to do so now. Come on, what are you waiting for? By all means, do so and I grant you powers. All right, all right. Enough plugging in my sales pitch. <coughs> like and subscribe. <coughs> on a more serious note, I've been asked, how do I make the outlines around objects and characters? And you'll be happy to know that it is actually pretty simple. First off, we want to create a new transparent layer in the layers area as such. This layer will serve as the outline. What we want next is to have the layer of our object highlighted. I am going to start by creating the outline around the words. So right click the layer that the object is on and select the option alpha to selection. This creates a selection identical to the shape of our object. With that, we would like to enlarge the selection by heading on over to the select menu up top and clicking on grow. I grow the selection by five pixels here, but you can experiment with how large you will like the selection. Make sure that your newly created transparent layer is selected now in the layers panel. And then with the bucket fill tool, we want to fill the selection with our desired 
color. Ha! Huh. Simple, right? I hope you didn't doubt me at all. Just a few simple tricks to improve your thumbnail art skill set. Well, I guess that is it. You can go now. You do not have to stay here any longer. Oh, <sighs> Wow, what a rough video to make. Huh? You still here? All right, all right. I will give you just one more. But then that is it. So, sometimes I like to turn these borders around the object into glow effects. You do it the same exact way. You create a new layer, make your alpha to selection around the object, grow the selection, and fill the color. But in addition to that, we want to go back to the select menu up top and click none. After that, we go to the filters menu, go to blur, Gaussian blur. In my opinion, blurs from one to six look the best. And there you have it, my first ever thumbnail tutorial. Well, more like, thumbnail tips and tricks. If you enjoyed the video and found it useful, then leave a comment down below. Let me know what you liked, how this helped you, or even if you still need a little bit more help. So with that, no matter what your time zone may be, have a good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Bye!